this lesson, we are going to discuss the quicksort. This was developed by C.A.R. Hoare. Quicksort is a comparison sort. The working of quicksort is depending on a divide and conquer strategy. What this means is, given an input, it divides the input into smaller parts before performing an operation on those parts, as opposed to working on the entire input at once. One way of looking at it is that it is easier to eat food in smaller bite-sized pieces as opposed to the whole thing at once. Quicksort is one of the fastest and simplest sorting methods. Let me provide you with the sample code. You will need to implement quicksort in C language. In this sample code, we declare a function called quick underscore sort, which has three arguments. Inside the main function, we declare an array, namely i and arr, which holds these values. But you can also input values during runtime instead of assigning. We print the text message in these lines. Then we use a for loop to display the array elements. In this line, we call the quicksort function by passing three parameters. Now the control comes to the quicksort function definition. Inside the function, we declare mid, temp, temp1, low1, and high1 variables. And then we assign the value of low variable to low1 variable. Similarly, the value of n variable is assigned to high1 variable. Here we check to see if low1 value is greater than or equal to n value. If the condition is true, the process will be terminated by the return keyword. Otherwise, the corresponding array element will be assigned to mid variable. Inside the square brackets, you can see some calculations are done. After that, only the array element will be assigned. In the while loop, we test whether low1 value is less than high1 value. If this is true, the next while loop will get the execution. Here, we check one more condition. If the condition is satisfied, the low1 value will be incremented as 1. Otherwise, this while loop will start the process. Inside the loop, we decrease the value of high1 variable. Once all the loop is completed, this if statement will check whether low1 value is less than high1 value. If the condition is true, this swapping process will start. Here itself, we arrange the array elements in a proper order. Later, we check another condition in this line. If the condition is satisfied, the high1 value will be transferred to temp1, and low1 value will be shifted to high1. Finally, the temp1 value will be passed to low1. Then, we call quicksort function by passing arr, low, and low1 variables. When this is called, the above-described process will be done. Afterwards, we invoke the function by passing arguments based on some validations. Once the quicksort function is processed, all the control will come back to the main function. Finally, we show all the elements which are arranged in proper order using this for loop. You may get a little confused. To understand it better, let's run the sample code. Press Alt F9 to compile the code. When it's finished, click on OK. Press Control F9 to run the code. And here's the output. Now you can see the differences between before sorting and after sorting elements. Keep in your mind the most direct competitor of quick sort is heap sort. So far we've discussed the quick sort method to sort array elements. If you find any difficulties, just watch this lesson one more time.